Welcome to Vibrant Living Adventures with Boyd Martin. Brought to you by PureEnergyRx.com, where everything is energy. Receiving and sending light. When I lived in the San Diego area, I had an opportunity and blessing to attend a couple of Masters of Light workshops with Michelle Lucian. Her purpose was to introduce the classes to the practice of direct enlightenment or the lighting of the brain, a practice also taught by her guru. The truly remarkable thing about this idea is that it uses imagination as a tool of enlightenment. This is certainly not a new idea, but what is new, in my opinion, is that the practice is no longer strictly in the realms of spiritual teachers, gurus, adepts, mystics, or other advanced practitioners. This is something anyone can do, that is, if you have a functioning imagination. The first thing we did was a diksha, basically a blessing. We picked partners and exchanged doing diksha on each other. Here's how it worked. First, center yourself into the heart space, basically putting your attention on your heart area. Next, simply ask for the light. If necessary, be more specific, the light of source, the light of your favorite angel, teacher, guru, or spiritual master. Then, hold the hands, palms upward, on either side of the receiver's head, just above the ears. Then, slowly move the hands so the palms are above the head, about an inch with thumbs touching. Then, slowly move the hands until the palms are resting on the receiver's hairline area. Remain there until you stop. Could be 30 seconds to a couple of minutes, whatever feels right, or you get some sort of intuitive signal. I received Disha first, and for me, there was a faintly bluish pinkish light that came in through the top of my head and cascaded very slowly down through my body. It was extremely calming, and I noticed all thinking stopped. This was reported by several people. There was a sense of an infinitely gentle yet powerful energy seeping down into every cell of the body. Then, when I gave it, the same thing happened, and I noticed I was smiling broadly without really smiling at anything in particular, or smiling at any thoughts, and there were none. After the Diksha, Michelle encouraged the class to report what they had experienced. <laughs> It was slow going because everyone was obviously blank-minded and very blissed out. I did manage to blurt out, A bluish light! Very nice, very nice! <laughs> As I sat there with my buzzing body. Since then, I've incorporated self-diksha into my daily practice in the morning and have found it to be very useful for preparing myself for the rigors of daily routines and business. It has increased my calmness, and my appreciation for life in general. Although I've experienced various types of dikshas before, sometimes called other things, this one, for some reason, impressed me as a useful tool for expanding my awareness and well-being. And what is truly remarkable is that we all have the capacity to call in the light of consciousness and in so doing reap considerable rewards of that calling. Just a few minutes a day can have a profound effect. Try it. You have been listening to Vibrant Living Adventures with Boyd Martin. Brought to you by PureEnergyRx.com, where everything is energy.